This rusted, non-working water tower has been here since the 1920s. Now, some may call it an eyesore, others a community staple, but whatever you call it, it's on the chopping block and the clock is ticking. I would agree that it, uh, it's not a pretty sight as it stands right now, but to me, Taking a look at this, this has been with our community since 1929. It's seen the growth of our community. It's why council member Dave Rubello says it's just too important to knock down. During Tuesday's city council meeting, members heard bids to demolish or repair the tower, which city leaders estimate hasn't been in use in at least 40 years. Sadly, demolition looks like the proper choice at this point. That's because to tear it down would cost the city around $40,000. To preserve it and make it once again pretty to look at and structurally sound would be nearly 10 times that. It's iconic. It's been a part of St. Clair Shores, you know, for almost 100 years. And it would be fantastic if we were able to preserve that. It hovers over the St. Clair Shores Golf Club along Masonic Boulevard. And you can see it from the Harper Avenue area, too. Both Mayor Kip Walby and Rubello understand the price tag here is a hard sell. One option? finding an advertiser to help foot the repair bill. It's great visibility. This thing sits pretty high in the sky. At Tuesday's council meeting, members decided to table the issue for six months, giving Rubello that amount of time to find a way to keep it or agree to proceed with a demo. He's putting together a list of possible advertising partners now. I'm, I'm not sure you're going to get takers to try to do $400,000 at least. Um, for advertising or what that advertising would be. I'm not saying we're going to be able to do it, but I have hope that we're going to do it. Those bids we mentioned are unlikely to hold given the fluctuating price of steel and other factors, so the cost to either demo or repair likely only to go up. Again, six months is the timeline here. Much more to come on this. From St. Clair Shores, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.